while I turn the car on, you will see the dashboard lights up. Like the 4th of July. Just turning the engine off. I've got the engine cover off at the moment, so hence the noise. Um, if I take you into the engine bay now, all the temperature lights are on, as you can see, and I've got an engine lamp. So uh, if I take you round to the engine bay, you'll see what the issue is. And down here is where the um, thermostat sensor is located. It's actually sheared completely off, so I don't know what's happened there. Shouldn't be fouling on anything. There you can see the actual sensor with uh, the bottom half there. There's the cable to the sensor, still with the bottom half of the sensor in. So the sensor looks like that and it will fit back in there like that. So I've made the decision now that because the car is new to me, I'm going to completely change all of the antifreeze. Um, I can start by doing that by coming down underneath the car. Just above the dry shaft here, you'll see this sort of socket. It takes a six millimeter Allen key, like an extension bar on. And this is the drain plug for the antifreeze. So I just can undo that. How it comes. So not much has come out. Obviously there's a lot more coolant in there and to remove or get rid of that coolant I'm going to go to the front of the car, undo the cap that takes the coolant and I'm going to take out the thermostatic the thermostat sensor body and that should also release more fluid as well. Okay, that's part one. So tucked behind here, there's the thermostat sensor. It's held in with a clip. I can put my minor screwdriver in the back, gently prise it out. Do not lose that clip because a new sensor does not come with a new clip. So get your hands down there, ready to catch it. Or watch where it goes. Or I think I lost it. Magnetic screwdriver. Blessing. That's the original unit that's just come out. The O-ring is on it. Sometimes they don't come out with the O-ring, so just be careful uh, to make sure it's not left in there. Okay, that's the original, and this is the replacement. And you can see here. Somehow it's sheared off of that edge, uh, but I'm looking forward to putting the replacement in. So I will now put the plug back on the engine, uh, fill the antifreeze up to this level, and then replace this. Then I know that there's no airlocks uh, this side of the, the sensor. So 300 mils for that to come out so I've got no airlocks to that point so I can put the new thermostat center in pop it in perfect and now the clip okay right and that will Gonna fit in 
front of that clip and back. I put the tie wrap on because invariably I'm going to drop it a few times, so I'm going to stop filming there. Uh, it can just take a while to get this little clip on uh, with a range of different things, I think. Okay, just get that clip on there, make sure it's up, it's all clicked into the position. Don't know if you can see that properly. Yeah, nice and sweet. So connected. Uh, I'm now going to go back to the front of the car and top up the an antifreeze. Aim carefully. Now the acid test. Let's see what we've got. Put the ignition on. Flashing lights, a single temperature lamp on, excellent. I still have an engine lamp on. Okay, so I just had a new exhaust fitted and a new um, catalytic convert catalytic new yeah, a new catalytic converter fitted. So I just test that and see what the diagnostic tool tells me. Um, brilliant, what a result. Uh, onwards and upwards. Thank you for watching.